Hey ET fans, today I have a special stroke analysis for you uh, because it's going to be Serena Williams. And I want to say a special thanks to Jason at Tennis Unleashed for letting us use some of his footage to bring you this unbelievable uh, forehand of Serena Williams. Lover, hater, whatever, I don't know, but I think she's a champion. She's shown how her game has lasted through, <laughs> she's one of the greatest players of all time. So it's uh, great to have an opportunity to break down her forehand and give you some tips that you can take home and use to have a champion-like forehand for yourself. So the very first thing I like to start with is the ready position, and Serena has a great one. The keys that I'm looking for in a ready position is that the racket head is above the wrist. Also, she has a nice uh, bend in her knees and a pretty wide stance to uh, start off with a solid base. If you don't have a solid base in the beginning, then it's gonna be really hard for you to continue to hit your stroke because as you start to move or as you start to uh, generate more power, your stroke is gonna break down. So these key markers, having this nice wide base, having the racket above the uh, hand and making sure that her knees are bent, giving her, a, again, a great solid base. The next phase is the unit turn. And you're gonna really see how Serena starts to turn her shoulders and upper body um, to get the racket back. And to do this, she's also gonna use her left hand, which is on the racket, helping push the racket back and create this coil and turn in her shoulders. Now, one thing I really love about Serena's forehand is that she does a great job of creating this tension, this spring-like tension between her hips and her shoulders. You can already see it here that she does a great job of her shoulders are facing towards the camera, but her hips, if you notice, are facing almost towards the net, towards the side post. This action creates a spring-like um, coil that allows her to really uncoil her body into the shot, and that's so important. It's the base of what she's using to create a lot of the power. Not only that, what you're gonna see is that she's gonna step here and proceed to load her leg. And by stepping forward, she's doing two things. She's gonna load this leg just enough to push off, but also she's creating more twists, more coil that she's gonna then unleash. So we're gonna back up and go to a little bit different clip of Serena where she is, again, we're going through the unit turn, uh, talk about her racket path. As she's taking the racket path, she, uh, the racket back, excuse me, she has the racket nice and high. The reason for this is the higher the racket is, within reason, it's gonna allow the racket to drop under and create momentum. Meaning that as the racket's coming down, she can use that, that momentum to then speed the racket up. The racket's not starting from a zero or kind of no pace situation. It already has some momentum built up that she can then use in the direction she wants to hit the ball. Not only that, as she's taking the racket back, you can really see that slight difference from uh, forehands that you see in the ATP Tour, the men's and the women's, in some sense that you see her with her racket tip all the way back. A lot of guys you might see with the racket inverted uh, and it generates a little bit more pace, but still she can generate so much pace by making sure that she has those fundamental things set up in the beginning of her stroke, which is she has a great coil and twist between her shoulders and her hips. Now she has a nice racket uh, set up where she's gonna get the racket into this pulling slot position, meaning that the butt of the racket is gonna be able to pull forward into the shot. Right here, you can see the butt of the racket dropping into the slot of what we call, and she's getting ready to use her coil here to start pulling the racket forward and generating a lot of racket at speed to be applied to the, for, uh, to apply to the ball. So as you see her, she's now uncoiling her hips and shoulders into contact. And Serena has a bent elbow type contact. So usually you have one of two different situations. Either the elbow is going to be straight at contact or it's going to be bent. She uh, has chosen to have a bent elbow. And it's more stylistic than you have to have one or the other. But she does a great job of contact in front, noticing that contact's right in front of her, um, her uh, leg here or her foot. Uh, and she has a nice shoulder position where her shoulders are almost to parallel. A lot of times you'll see her get the shoulders a little bit further around, but this is still a great position. I'm gonna back up one 
more time because I think it's really important. One more element that I see a lot of recreational players kind of messing up on that causes them to lose power in their stroke is notice how Serena's left arm is out of the way. This now allows by moving that left arm out of the way, it moves the shoulder, which gives it, uh, creates space so her right shoulder can come through and have that space to move fast. Just like a, a baseball pitcher, if they don't move this side of their body, this left arm out of the way, they can't get the right shoulder to move forward in an accelerated uh, fashion. So it's really important as we see this arm move out of the way, it clears space for her to make contact. Again, great contact in front. Next thing, look at the racket face that Serena has at contact. This racket face pretty much represents where the ball's gonna go. You don't see it opening up, and if you did see it open up, it usually means she had a little bit of a miss hit, but this looks like a great contact. As she's following through, you can really see the extension of her arm. Another thing that uh, a lot of great players do is at contact, she really focuses on keeping her head still. So as you see her making contact or kind of after contact, she still has her head looking in this direction and is not looking up. This is another really big um, glaring kind of mistake that a lot of recreational players make. As, as they swing and they make contact, they think they're done and they start looking up. And that ability or that action of looking up actually changes slightly the swing um, at or sometimes slightly uh, after contact if the ball's there. It, it creates a little miss hit a lot of times or off center hit because you're not really focusing on keeping your body still through the contact. And Serena shows us that this is super important. So as she's following through, she has a nice long follow through and you can see her, uh, her, her elbow finishing around. Again, if you look at her rack or her face, she's still looking in the direction of contact. She's not changing it. So I wanted to go through one more time, going over these elements a little bit faster from a different angle. And you can really see how, again, Serena is going to use her unit turn to get the racket back here. And then still taking her racket back into that pulling position, she's getting her left arm out of the way and she's gonna pull her hips and shoulders into contact. Great racket face at contact, making sure that the racket face is looking where she wants the ball to go. So important. She's doing all of this for this one moment. She's using her entire body to make sure at contact as she's generated all this pace and power through her legs, through her hips, through her shoulders, then to the arm, that at contact, the racket face is looking where she wants the ball to go. And that is the most important thing if you wanna make sure you're consistently hitting the ball where it needs to go or where you want it to go. So again, great follow through and a great finish looking with her head, looking at the ball. This is what makes her a champion and this is what makes her game so solid under pressure. If you want an action plan to take you through step by step of learning how to hit a great forehand, then make sure you check out forehandactionplan.com and also like and subscribe to our channel to get more free great videos on how we can help you improve your tennis game.